Hello, everyone. It's time for uh, BaltimoreHourly.com, a uh, video about politics, uh, local and a uh, little bit of national. As you can see, that's Honolulu in the background. And uh, because I work for myself, and uh, I can just leave Baltimore whenever I want to, so there was a cheap uh, flight from Philadelphia, $480 round trip to Honolulu that I saw last week and I just bought it and I decided to go to Honolulu for about five days. Sunday, I left on Super Bowl Sunday and I'll be back uh, tomorrow, Friday the 6th. You'll see me out and about, I'm sure. Um, and with that in mind, uh, I thought Honolulu would be a very happy place and it kind of is. There's a lot of tourists. There, there are a lot of Japanese tourists here. Um, it's a little bit closer to the West Coast than it is to Japan, but it's pretty close to Japan. But there are overwhelmingly uh, more <laughs> Japanese tourists here than American tourists. And I, I, that's partially, I, I assume, maybe their economy is doing a little bit better than uh, the pundits out there are saying. And uh, also, the Japanese actually save their money and plan things. While here in America, everyone wastes their money on crap and can't, you know, can't leave their government jobs or can't leave their uh, service industry jobs. Um, because unfortunately, the one sad thing about Honolulu is that all of the people who live in Honolulu that I see appear to be very unhappy. They either work for the government or they work in the service industry and for tourism. And they have to be servants to the visitors from either the mainland or from Asia. And uh, that sucks. Who the heck would want to be, I mean, I know some people feel they, that's the only job they can get. And I'm, I'm referring back to Baltimore. It must suck. And I encourage all of you to start your own business, you know, be a little bit more like me, um, just because it appears you cannot be your own boss. Trust me, you can. You can come up with an idea. It's better than being this uh, working in the tourist industry. My God, they look unhappy. And it's better than working for the government. You, you might think, oh, I work for the government. I get great benefits. Can you just leave whenever you want? Can you do whatever the heck you want? And, well, you can do whatever the heck you want at work, I guess, but you can't really leave whenever you want and go to uh, Hawaii randomly and have the money to go to Hawaii. Because you're not making that much money. Try, I mean, you're making some money. Some government employees obviously are, get paid ridiculous amounts of money. Excuse me. Um, and, and, but many just don't. They're just getting by, whatever. Um, and you have all these terrible responsibilities to the government. If you're your own boss, you can make a pretty good living. You don't have to waste your money commuting or anything like that. You, you know, go away, travel and learn so much. That's what I've been doing. Um, as some of you know, for over the last year, I have been going to different places. And I spoke about Los Angeles and Vancouver, uh, and obviously Uruguay, um, but in here now in Hawaii. So I'm getting a little off topic. But um, no, do not rely on the government. And um, speaking about schools, I guess that those are government employees too. And I know, I know everyone really, the for the children gimmick is a really big thing in politics. And I think people deep down, really smart people actually believe that, you know, if we throw enough money at this problem, it's gonna get fixed in Baltimore. It's not. Um, and I read today in my email that uh, Zeke Cohen, um, who was in charge of the intersection, which had something to do with kids and Baltimore and, and doing good deeds, he's gonna make an announcement, a uh, political announcement. Apparently he's raised like $50,000 to run for something. He's gonna announce it on March the 4th or March the 3rd, and he's going to do it from uh, near Patterson Park, um, I think at the Creative, wherever. He obviously, it, it's a year before the city council election. Jim Kraft isn't running. He's obviously running for uh, First district city council person. Will he get Stephanie Ron Blake's blessing? Maybe he's raised fifty thousand dollars. I mean, if he's really raised what I thought I read, fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars. That's that's a lot of money this early on. He's going to win. I mean, he he's a known guy. But anyway, my point, and I know he's a good deed doer and everything, but it's such a gimmick now. Oh, I help the kids. It's going to translate into me. He's, begging for more money in state senate or in or house of delegates or city council i'm going to even get more money and because i've worked with kids and done good things with minority kids everything's going to work out it's not going to work out all right we got to stop throwing money at this we need people who first of all we don't need a government at all okay i don't believe in the government at all as you can tell but if we're going to have a city council we should have business people on there okay 
know how to run a business. They know, know about so people don't steal money from every aspect of, of the government. You know, out there in a Belinda Conway Register of Will, she hires her relatives. And, you know, she hires Hassan Giordano, uh, who's given her father publicity as a reward, no doubt. I mean, corrupt things like this. Let's have, instead of people who like to pay back people like it's a third world banana republic, instead of any, people like that, we need business people in charge, okay? People who know how to run a successful business, people who can go on vacations whenever the heck they want because they got money, okay? They have money because they worked hard and they know how to succeed in the real world and not suck the government teat or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So good luck to Zeke. I guess he's going to win because he's raised $50,000. That's the only reason he's going to win. Um, I believe Zeke is Jewish. Um, I'm also Jewish, as you know. Um, and Ricky Spector is Jewish. And a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of Jewish people feel there needs to be a Jewish representative. Well, if he wins, get rid of Ricky, for God's sakes. We don't need her anymore. She's horrifying. He's probably better. At least he's young. I don't know. He, I, don't, I don't know him. Screw everyone. I don't, I don't care. I can leave that place whenever I want. But, all right. All right. What else we got here? Douglas Memorial Church. Hey, they sent me an email saying that the uh, Reverend Jeremiah Wright's coming to town again. Uh, that's actually Stephanie Rollins Blake's church and a lot of other politicians. And Al Sharpton's going to come. This is in a couple weeks. They're coming to D Douglas Church. Uh, out near Bolton Hill, which is fine. It's a private group. You know, they can do what they want to do, but it, it is the mayor's church, you know. So you know, she keeps giving them money, and everyone keeps giving them money, so people like Al Sharpton and Jeremiah Wright can come to their talk to their church, and everyone can be impressed. Now, if you're not impressed like that, because I'm not impressed like that, but I think they're dogs, those two people. I, I think they're absolute dogs. Um, if you're not impressed like that, then don't su support uh, the, the church. I don't, I don't support that church, obviously. I just said I was Jewish, right? I, I, don't, I don't believe in Christianity or whatever the heck they do. Whatever they're practicing over there. I don't know what Jeremiah Wright practices exactly. I, he's had some very interesting sermons online. But again, that's his business. If you support that, be, be, you know, get, get into that. Again, that, that is a private thing, so they can do whatever the heck they want to do. I just wanted to comment on that because our public official, Stephanie Rollins Blake, belongs to a church who thinks Jeremiah Wright is cool and Al Sharpton are great, great guys. They're, you know, they're coming to talk. So again, um, I urge all of you, get out of the service industry paradigm because slowly but surely, every job, so many jobs in America are just service industry. Baltimore relies on tourism. I mean, it, it, I, I feel horrible for people. I, I see these waiters and waitresses. I won't go to restaurants and stuff too either because I know they just spit in the fit. I mean, they're so angry about their lives. They do horrible things. They read it on Craigslist. They talk about it all the time. The people who don't tip them. And, you know, if you're going out, yeah, you probably should tip, okay? I'm not saying you shouldn't tip, but don't get into the service industry. People. You can do better than that. You can run your own, maybe you can run your own restaurant instead of being an employee. Uh, again, <laughs> That's difficult to do too, obviously, but there's a lot of things out there. Be creative. Do not rely on the government. I, I mean, don't think, and you know, I know there are a lot of people who are smart who want to become teachers. They think they're going to save the world. And I know there's such hard work. It, it, not in Baltimore City. Come on. It's not working. You know, people have to take responsibility for these people in Baltimore City who send their kids to daycare, because that's all Baltimore City schools are, is just daycare. I mean, it's daycare from, uh, you know, three years old to 18 or 19 years old these days. You know, don't, this, this, this is an old school paradigm. We, we, schools shouldn't exist like, they shouldn't go up to 12th grade anymore. These kids, they don't want anything to do with that. They don't want anything to do, we don't. Anyway, the, the parents of these children need to take responsibility. Instead of throwing them off to day, all day daycare, teach them to be good people, be role models, and then there won't be problems. Then we won't be complaining, like, why is my kid not learning a damn thing? Or why is my kid selling drugs? It's, it's the government. The government will solve everything. The government will solve nothing. That's the bottom line of today's video. The government will solve nothing. If you think the government's going to solve everything, you're going to end up working in one of these hotels, having a fake smile or whatever. Ha <laughs> ha, aloha, 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 Mr. Meister. I mean, do you really want to be doing that in Baltimore? You'll be, maybe you'll be dancing around with a hun hat on or something. That's your future. That's your future, dudes. If you don't, if, or you can work for the government or live off of the government. Be a proud, uh, one of the, what, 50 million people receive food stamps? People can't, 50 million people can't food, feed themselves anymore in the United States. Think about that. If that's, I don't know if the number's that out. Whatever, it's 40 million. It's ridiculous. Cannot 
feed themselves, the most basic thing in the world. It'd be like me saying 40 million people in America can't wipe their butts anymore. They need someone else to wipe, the government needs to wipe their asses for them now. <laughs> Excuse the language. Uh, but, but seriously, if they can't feed themselves, something's going completely, but yeah, they've got nice cars out on lease and everything like that. Hey, but anyway, those Japanese guys are having fun out there. They're, you know, because they saved their money. <laughs> They're not, they know how to wipe their asses. They're not living off food stamps. So think about it. Think about what I, I mean, I'm, I'm in Hawaii right now. So you can listen to the Al Sharpton or whoever you want to complain. Well, he gets to travel around too. So maybe <laughs> he's making money off of pity. But, um, or you can listen to your, your, excuse me, you can listen to like someone like Jack Young, somebody Rollins Blake tell you that the government's going to fix everything. And that when they get to travel, of course, they do also get to travel, but that's, you're paying for them to travel to Las Vegas or wherever. But, you know, here's a guy telling you right now, I've earned this money myself. I can leave Baltimore whenever I want. I can go out of the country whenever I want. Talk about Bitcoin whenever I want. Right? That's a good thing, Bitcoin. So now I'm rambling. This thing has gone on for a long time. I, I will be back home in the cold real soon. BaltimoreHourly.com. Uh, send me your thoughts. I know today has been a little bit different. I've, I've showed my anarchy side, uh, my anarcho-capitalist side, I guess, a little bit more. But screw the government. <laughs>